Hello and welcome back to Maths with Mr Duffield. I am the aforementioned Mr Duffield and I have a GCSE question. Someone's asked me for help with um, finding angles involving 3D shapes. So let's begin. The diagram shows a triangular prism. There it is. And I'm asked to work out the size of the angle between the line BE and the plane ABCD. Okay, all of this information here is exactly the information I've got on the, on the, on the grid here on the graph, on the diagram, excuse me. Um, now let's figure out what this information means. The line BE, you can clearly see, there it is, this kind of diagonal across that kind of sloping downwards uh, face of the triangular prism. The plane ABCD, that's funny wording, but effectively what it means is, if this was a triangular prism um, sat on the floor, ABCD, this, this, this kind of rectangle here, would be directly on the ground and that that kind of ground level as it were can be described as a plane okay that's what that means well i'm looking for the size of the angle between this diagonal line this diagonal line and effectively the, the floor the best way to do that is to form two-dimensional shapes within inside this three-dimensional object OK, what I end up with there is a right angle triangle that's kind of cutting halfway through this, this triangle, the prism. I hope that you can visualize that. It's difficult for me to do on, on paper, I'm afraid. But if you had a physical uh, triangle, the prism in your hand, you could rotate it around, see more easily that this rectangle at the base is effectively the floor. That's what it means, the ground level. Um, so I need to work out the size of that angle. It's a right angle triangle, socket of a trig. Let's let's draw it out. Just making sure it's visible on screen here. So this is the equivalent of point E in the in the in the uh, diagram above. Here's point D and here's point B. Alright? Now we can extrapolate that this length at E D is 10 centimeters because it's the same as the height of the, of the diagram. And um, this angle here is what we're looking for, this little angle here, which is the same as this little angle here. So that's what we're looking for. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we have anything else. And we need at least one other side length in order to work out, well, uh, soccer toe trick. So I'm, I, need, I need to figure out one of the side lengths. Which one, which one am I going to look for? This one is going to do, because effectively, I can form a second right angle triangle from the dimensions of the, the ground level of, of rectangle A, B, C, D. Okay, I'm going to draw that one out as well. There it is. So this up here is the equivalent of point D. This here is the equivalent of point A. This here is the equivalent of point B, the right angle. And then this length AB, 24 centimeters. And similarly, as we did before, because this is eight centimeters, length AD is also going to be eight centimeters. OK, so I need to work out the length DB in order to have a second length to do Sokotoa trig with to work out this angle. So I'm going to need to use Pythagoras to work out that so that I've got that, because this length and this length are the same length on this uh, triangular prism. So it's Pythagoras. Let's give it a go. 24 squared plus 8 squared makes 640. So this length here, let me write out what I've done there. Adding those together made 640. So DB is going to be the square root of 640. Yeah? Square rooting both sides to work out the length of DB. Straightforward enough. And actually, I don't really need to use my calculator at all. I could just choose to leave it as the square root of 640. Because having it as a, as a decimal, because that, that's, that's not um, a whole number root, just it, it reduces the accuracy of my, of my future working. So leaving it as root 640 is a perfectly acceptable, nay, in, encouraged 
thing to do. So those are, those are my two lengths. Working out uh, what that length dB is by using Pythagoras' theorem. Now, working out this angle, which remember is, is the angle that we're looking for, it is actually what the question is, is asking, requires a socket over tree. So that's the opposite. Here's the uh, hypotenuse. Here's the adjacent. We have the opposite. We have the adjacent. Now you might um, write out Sokotoa and underline the information that you have. You can work out that it is indeed tan of my angle, let's call that letter B, equals opposite over adjacent. Okay, opposite is 10, adjacent is root 640. So to work out that angle, I have to work out the inverse tan of that fraction. Okay. So, if I uh, get my calculator out and get cracking with that. I get the final answer to be 21.6 degrees. Why do I round it to, to one decimal place? Because the question asked me to. Okay, so that's my answer, 21.6. Uh, I hope that that helps you. Effectively, the big challenge with this question is is just visualizing this properly and understanding that when the word plane means just kind of the level of the ground in, in this particular question, in this particular case. All right. I hope that, that helps you. Uh, I wish you luck in all your future endeavors. And for goodness sake, get your work done on Teams. I will talk to you very soon.